Hey everyone, so I don't know if this is an existing method, but um, I kind of stumbled upon it when I was messing around where you can solve the corners and the bottom layer at the same time um, without having to solve the top first and then go to the moves that solve the middles. Um, it just solves it at the same time. So in this method that um, I don't know even what to call, but I've just worked on it myself here. So if I have a top piece, I want the white facing out towards me. I don't want the white on top. Um, what's the old method or some of the methods to solve the top layer first? You want the white on top, but in this case, I want it facing me. Then next, I want to find the blue and red centerpiece, which happens to be right here. So if you'll notice, when I pull this, if they're opposites, so there's red and blue and red. So if these two on this face are opposite, all you would do is pull it down, and you can see that the red and blue are meeting. And so we would just push it out of the way. And in this case, since the blue and red side is over here, I can just pull this side down. And when I pull this one over, you can see that the blues have connected. And then when I set or push this side back up, now the reds are connected and the whites connected. And there it's been solved at the same time. I just need to correct this side, connect the whites again. So if I do that again, here's another piece with the white facing me. So I'm looking for a blue and an orange piece. So that's right here. So let me spin this back over. So in this case, again, they're opposites. So if I just pull this down, you'll see that they connect. I want to move it out of the way. And I'm going to bring this side up. And since this side is the orange and um, blue side that I was working on, I can't just pull another side down and push it in like I just did last time. I push this white into the desired corner. So here's my blue and orange white piece, and it's going to go up here. So it's in the target corner on the bottom, and this piece is already connected. So I have this little L piece that's created, and if I just move the bottom in the way of that the L is pointing, and then bring my blue side down, and then bring this fragment L piece back, I'm connecting the blues. When I push this back up, I'm connecting the white, or sorry, the yellow. <laughs> wow, I'm having troubles. The orange at the same time. So now I have two remaining and there's no white pieces in there. So why don't I just put one up? Actually this orange, this piece is already solved that you can see, green and orange. So if I just push this out of the way, or push it down and then spin this out of the way, and then bring this side back up, I can put this green piece in the target and you'll see this little L that's formed. So if I push the bottom with the white I'm basically pushing it in the direction that the white's facing or that the L is facing to the left. So I'm going to push it to the left. Then I'm going to bring this green side down and then reconnect and push this side up. And I've connected my oranges and greens. And then I have one last corner. So where's the white piece? It's right here. So usually if to put this up, usually I would say something like, you know, you're ugly. Come back, please. And it, you know, it puts it up to the top in the yellow or in the white, but we don't want to do that in this case. We want to put it up the wrong way. So I'm going to push this side down instead and then bring my white piece over so that it's pointing out towards me. So the last thing I need to do is find the piece. So here's my red piece and green. So usually I would put it on the same side here, the same face, but this time they're the same color. So in order to, in, we can, do this one way which is really cool that works. So in this case I'm going to push the red away onto the red side. Then all I'm going to do is basically put this, flip this corner back up the way it should be and it'll solve itself. So if I press this down to the right or down and then bring the white out of the way, push this side back up and then bring this white piece into the target corner and then I want to solve it like I was putting the white up here originally, like in the old method for solving corners. So I just bring this side down and then bring the white piece back. And you can see that it's been connected already because I had the red side. I pushed the red side from the opposite over here. And so that's been solved that way. So that solves the corners and the middles at the same time. And I don't know if it's any faster, but I just thought that that was kind of cool. So I thought I'd make a recording of it.